On Saturday, July 8, the Chico's fan club paid a visit to the government nursing home in Sadlers to make a presentation. And we presented the home with quite a number of food items, toiletries, adult pampers, and walking cane, etc. And this is the second of such major contribution that we have made to a government institution. The first being the Cardin Home, shortly after we were launched in October of last year. The club is not even a year as yet, and we are making major contribution to the development of um, St. Kitts and the Nevis. Um, we are here this afternoon as the Chico's Fan Club here at the Senior Citizens Home in Sadlers. This is our second time we are at the Senior Citizens Home. Um, last year we went to the Cardin Home and our, one of our mission is to visit all of the Senior Citizens Home throughout the um throughout St. Kitts. So today is the turn of the Sadler's Senior Citizens Home and we have a vibrant group here this afternoon come to contribute or to give gifts to this home and so that all of the folks who are here who reside here can benefit from these um which many people have contributed all over the gifts and we are very grateful to all these people this afternoon for supporting the Chico's Fan Club. That's your name, sir? Rudy Parry. Rudy Parry. Yes, <laughs> cool. Alias cool. Sao Village Barcia. Sao Village. So you're from Chico's area and Wilma. In the Calypso field, they call me King Cody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're happy to be here with them. And uh, as we look around, we realize that there are several food items, um, toiletries, um, milk, water, pampers, rice, and the list goes on. So it is like they have Christmas in July. I want to look like that Santa. Santa has come to town. And who is this Santa this afternoon? The Chico's Fan Club. Yeah. So we just want to put on record how grateful we are to all the donors. Because we cannot do it on our own. So we are very thankful to all those folks out there who continuously support this movement. And our mission is to give back whatever we get to give it to unfortunate citizens amongst us. Because you see, my brothers and sisters, we never know what life, where life would take us. So we are ensuring that we are doing what God asks us to do so that we in turn can be blessed as we bless others. So we thank all, whether here or overseas, Jenny and all the others overseas, who continue to support our movement. Afternoon. To God be the glory, great things he has done. So we expect to leave the Saddler's home better than we met it. They would have some goodies for quite a while and we are so happy that we can be here to share with them this afternoon.
of this institution. And a round of applause for the great that we are going to start with this. Good afternoon to all. I just want to thank Chicho fan clubs and all those who contributed in one way or the other. We at the Saddles Elderly Group are very grateful. I want to say thank you. Very grateful for all these wonderful goodies that are stocked up in front of us. And when they were coming in, I could see the elderly smiling. <laughs> we never get such grand amount of things yet. So you have to say thank you and for the founder of this home is Miss Anne, Mary Ann Wigley. Because of her, this is so family. So I just want to say thank you for, for what you have done. And as you go to other entities, that they'll be grateful and thankful for big and small mercies. Thank you very much. And now we have come to a short, the end of a short but impressive ceremony. And um, we thank Mullin Media for being here to record this this afternoon so that the general public would see what is being done and they in turn would emulate us because we have so many situations around us that would need this kind of gesture. So we hope that this would propel others into coming out of the box and contributing to the unfortunate amongst us. So this is where we're going to end it this afternoon and yes. Mr. Molly would of course... Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry. Yes, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm jumping the gun. I'm going to disqualify me. Um, the Vice President and Sister Winifred would now officially hand over all of his stuff to Miss Madea. Miss Winifred. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, this afternoon, you've heard um, what we're all about in the Chico's Fan Club. And um, as we came in this afternoon, like they said, that all the, the citizens here were so happy to see the things coming in and we, our hearts are full to see that they are happy with what we are giving them. But on behalf of um, the Chico's Fan Club, I now officially hand over all these goodies to Mrs. Madea on behalf of the Chico's Fan Club. Have a good afternoon.
we know that government cannot do it alone. And we as citizens have to make a concerted effort to play our roles individually and collectively to make a difference and bring a difference to the lives of those who are in need. Shortly after we left the, the nursing home, we went to a private home in Sadler's to pay a visit to Hans Lord Black Edwards. So we are at our second stop this afternoon here in the lovely village of Sadlers. We are here at Stanley's New Life Elder Care Home and the Chickal Fan Club is doing it once again. We are here with one of our icons, broadcasting icons and a man who also dabbled in the Calypso Arena. In fact, uh, the record shows that he has the longest song ever recorded. <laughs> well, no way we're going to let him sing that song today, because we're going to reach home tomorrow. <laughs> so today we are here with Lord Black. Better, um, his correct name is Constantine Edwards. He has been a fixture in St. Kitts for many years, working at ZIZ, and um, contributing to this country in broadcast one of the better DJs we have had throughout the years, the 50 plus years of ZIZ. So this afternoon the Chico's Fan Club is deemed it a privilege that we can present to Lord Black a token of appreciation as we know yesterday was his birthday. So I think that we we did, we'll have to sing happy birthday. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes so yes. let us go, the, the songsters. There we go. Uh -huh. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Each day of the year, we find Jesus here. Happy birthday to you, a happy birthday to you. The best that you ever had. Happy birthday. We're not going to ask you how old are you. <laughs> so now we're going to ask our PRO, Mrs. Wilma Prokop, to present this lovely <coughs> token of appreciation that we see here this afternoon. Mrs. Prokop. Hi, good afternoon, Mr. Conz Edwards. On the behalf of the Chica's Fan Club, uh, we like to take this opportunity to present you with this wonderful gift basket. Let me not forget to wish you a happy belated birthday. How old are you today, 12? <laughs> happy, happy belated birthday to you. And on the behalf of the Chica's Fan Club, we are happy and we are proud to be here by you this afternoon. May God continue to bless you. Yes. Yeah, I appreciate the gesture. Makes me feel good. Loved. That's nice. Nice. Okay, so short but sweet, and we are happy that we have come here to Stanley's renewed. 
live elderly, elderly, elderly care, care. Mm -hmm. and it, this is where Lord Black resides now mm -hmm. and so we are happy that we can make him feel a bit better having celebrated his birthday yeah. yesterday and we choose um, the right time yeah. to come after to present him this lovely <laughs> gift. Yes. So we pray indeed that Lord Black, that the Lord will continue to bless yeah. you as well as the home here yeah. and all the, the, um, the persons who are at this home as well as Stanley and all the other members of staff. So we say to you, God continues blessings and Lord Black, enjoy all of the goodies. Yes. Thank yes. you. Man. Yeah, put up, put up, put up. Yep. Yes, very good thing. You banging a tune, Come on. 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 Yeah, just put it here. Marathon from Red Bull. We used to like, oh, let this demon roll. Too much talk. Talk, talk, talk. That was a big one from Cancel. Yeah, boy. I want to. Yeah. He was so happy to see us. You know, we were cracking jokes and so on, and we were just reminiscing a little. So it was a great pleasure to have company um, with Kans, and he thanked everybody um, who paid a visit to him on that day. Um, shortly after we left Kans Edwards, we went to pay a visit to a gentleman in a wheelchair. Now this gentleman, when I was on the air talking about our visit to Sadler's nursing home, he called me and indicated that he needed some food items because of his condition. So I told him the problem. So I took his number and told him that I would pay him a visit. So we went and we delivered two, two bags of food items and the toiletries and, and water and so forth and so. And he was so appreciative. He started to to break down. He was in tears. And he said that, um, you know, when he was on his two feet, he did so many things for so many people. And now he's down, he could hardly find anybody come and visit him. So he was happy that we were able to present him with some food items because he is in need. And we, as a club, we committed ourselves to present to him every month uh, a food basket so at least we know that he will have something to eat every month so the club has committed ourselves as a group we are not a rich group but we have hard working members in the group and we have committed ourselves to present that to him and to other people as well who we are helping but we know that he's um he has um he is an amputee so he can move around like um he would like to so it is important that we, as a group, and you know, other individuals, would go and pay him a visit and, and you know, assist him in whatever way possible. His, his name is uh, Mr. Lachlan, I can't remember the first name, but um, he knew everyone who was there. And he, you know, he told us about his family and you know, how it is difficult for him. But uh, we were happy to be there and do what we did. And you know, it, it, it reminds me, there's this saying that I have, you know, that I like to, there's this famous quote that I like to, to use, and it's from one of the late presidents of the United States, Theodore Roosevelt, the 26th president, president of the United States, and he once said, and I quote, nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you care. And we as a group, we care. That is why we are doing what we are doing. You know, we are about 20 members strong, and every week, every week we f try to find ways where we can assist those in need. And the group was formed mainly for this purpose, to assist those who are in need. And uh, our first anniversary is coming up in October, and we have plenty more in store. So I just want to thank all those who contributed to the cause. 
um, Saturday gone. I could name Rosie in Miami and Evelyn Batiste in New York. Both of them, when I spoke about uh, our intention to visit the home in Sadler's, both of them called me um, on the air and told me that they, they would make, like to make a contribution. And they sent um, quite a number of uh, adult pampers and uh, some food items as well. So I just want to thank them um, publicly and all the other folks uh, locally who made their contribution to the cause. Without them, it would not have been possible. So I just want to thank everybody and thank the entire club as well.